Hello there, I'm Chrissy. This is my YouTube channel, Chrissy Love, where I review fragrance. And today I am talking about my top blends. Two perfumes put together that make something better than the sum of their parts. Now, before I jump into that, thanks so much for being here. It means a lot to me. Thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing, interacting with me is really why I bother doing this at all. So I really appreciate whenever someone shoots me a little nice note, as long as it's positive, hopefully. <laughs> I can take a little bit of criticism, but I think generally I'm just so proud of this community for being so positive and supportive of each other. I just love that so much, especially on YouTube. It's just all love and that's just what it should be. I also post here twice a week, so be sure to subscribe. And also I post scent of the day videos to my Instagram and TikTok channel. So I'll link those below if you want to check those out. So let's jump right in to my review of my favorite blends right now within my perfume collection. So there is one perfume that works great with lots of different scents. Now I have actually there's many perfumes that are like that and one of those is Killian's Angel's Share. And I won't talk about all the individual notes and in all of these because there's quite a few perfumes here. But basically Angel Share reminds me of apple pie. It is a little bit spicy. It has like a kind of a, a beautiful sweet crust smell. It's very gourmand. Uh, it smells like apple-y and delicious. And one that really blends great with this is Kaoli's Vanilla, which is one that probably honestly layers great with many different perfumes as well. These are stunners to have in my collection. I'm very grateful to have them. Now, when you put these two together, I get like a bourbon vanilla ice cream over some apple pie. It's just decadent. It is gourmand to the extreme. It adds that sweet, delicious, extra pang of vanilla that this, you know, this is sweet for sure, but it doesn't really have a vanilla sweetness so much. This makes that kind of ice creamy and creamy and delicious and gourmand. Um, it also adds this richness that I think Angel shares sometimes um, can lack, especially after a couple of hours on the skin. So together, it's just like heaven, absolute heaven. And while we're talking about Angel Share, I also love blending this. I only have a sample size of this because my bottle broke and I had to decant it. But this is B Layers Cinnabomb, which is really just cinnamon. And if you love cinnamon, this is like beautiful for layering or on its own. It's just a perfect like baking cinnamon scent. And this really amps up the spice in Angel Share. So if you're like, oh, this is like, you know, gourmand and delicious, but it just needs a little kick, it adds that spiciness, but still stays in the same like baked item sweetness kind of family. So it really blends beautifully with it. But I recommend Cinnabon. I need to buy a full size bottle of it because I'm just going to keep going through this. Um, but yeah, together they are gorgeous. And I didn't put the vanilla with the Cinnabomb with Angel Share, but together I bet they would be absolutely incredible as well. So before I go any further, I want to talk about what blending actually is. And it took me a while to figure out how to do it, which I know sounds really silly, but I was like, uh, do you like blend them before you put them on your body? No, you don't, as it turns out. So what I do, you know, when I perf use perfume usually, I spray it on my wrist and then dab, wrist, dab, spray, spray. And so that means I just do it twice. So I have Angel Share, wrist, dab, wrist, dab, spray. And then I take vanilla and I go wrist, dab, wrist, dab, spray. And I do them right in rapid succession after each other. So that means the perfumes are kind of actually blending together. They're not like, they're not drying down before they're laid on top of each other. And sometimes I find I have to like respray specific perfumes because one's like a lot stronger than the other and it starts to beat the other one out. You know, you kind of have to feel it out, but it's a lot of fun. And generally I haven't been able to go wrong yet. <laughs> so like, this is some tips. Let me know how you do it. I'd be curious to know. Um, you know, one person I spoke to said that they just over, over spray both of them. Fair enough, you know, whatever gets on your skin is all that matters. My next blend I love to do is Alice Brooklyn B with my Co Bigelow Lemon. Now, my Co Bigelow Lemon is a sweet lemon. It has almost like a free loop vibe to it. And then Alice Brooklyn B is pretty much exclusively a honey scent. There's a little bit of white florals in there, but it's really on my skin when it dries down. It's really just pure, delicious, decadent, drizzled honey. <laughs> it's amazing. So when you put these two together, since they're both kind of basic on their own, they blend really beautifully. So the lemon adds some zestiness and some lift to the honey. It kind of gives it this like honeyed tea kind of feeling to it. It's 
calming and soothing. It's just absolutely beautiful together. Um, now the B sticks around a little bit longer than the lemon. So I did have to like respray the lemon a couple of times while the B stayed on my skin really well, but I think it's just fine. And together they're just really beautiful. Individually they're beautiful, but together they just add an extra layer that is really enjoyable. And so if you find like the, the honey scent is a bit too, too intense, too gourmand, the lemon kind of zests it up a little bit. So that's a really great combination. That's Alice Brooklyn B and Seal Bigelow Lemon. And I think the Seal Bigelow Lemon is honestly a really underrepresented perfume. People don't see very often, at least on YouTube I don't see it very often, but it's a gorgeous lemon. Definitely check that one out. All right, so I have three left here. And this was one I kind of was unsure was gonna work because they're both really powerhouse scents. But I have Maison Francis Kirk de John Gentle Fluidity Gold, which is just incredible in its own right. And then we have Lancome's La Nuit Tresor Nude. So Nude is like a kind of coconut, a little bit of musk, just absolutely decadent kind of salty coconut scent. And then Gentle Fluidity Gold, I would say it's like in a vanillic ambery family, um, but it's just so intensely beautiful. Um, they're both really high performers, both really well blended, high quality perfumes, and in their own right, they really stand on their own perfectly well. But when they come together, it's really beautiful because the nude adds a little bit of saltiness, which this is definitely not a salty perfume on its own at all. So it becomes this like salty, ambery vanilla. And even though it's a powerhouse, two powerhouse scents that have a lot of really well blended elements, together they mesh really well and they both end up kind of subtle on my skin. So together they just amp up. Uh, it smells really luxurious. It smells kind of like beachy, like a really upscale villa of a vacation. Um, it just smells so beautiful together. And I think it really brings out the best in both of them. So yeah, that is one I did not know was gonna work, but I was really pleasantly surprised. So it's Gentle Fluidity Gold with La Nuit Tresor Nude. Second to last I have here, La Petite Robe Noir Intense, which is like the blueberry cotton candy one. It's really unique from the others in the line. And then I have Jo Malone's Blackberry and Bay, which I have just like a sample size of. I'm not sure I'm gonna buy a full size to be honest. But Blackberry and Bay is kind of, it has a zesty blackberry scent, but it has this kind of herbal note to it too. So it, it's a really beautiful upscale scent from Jo Malone. Now together though, this, it becomes like a tangy cotton candy. So the La Petite Rub Noir Intense is really a beautiful, but very gourmand, sticky, sweet, blueberry cotton candy. So the Blackberry and Bay, it adds more zestiness to the blackberry that the blueberry is not bringing to this. And it also has adds a little bit of like an herbalness to it. So I'd say it makes, together they're both more complex, but kind of complete the picture. So you have like the fresh herbal zestiness and berry along with that really sticky sweet cotton candy sweetness. So I love these together. Um, it kind of like balances the sweetness, but also balances the zestiness. So yeah, kind of what I wasn't sure was gonna work either, but I actually am learning that the Intense is probably a really good layering scent if you want to just add that sticky sweetness to something because it's not overtly blueberry, it's really kind of a cotton candy scent. So yeah, that's La Petite Robe Noir Intense and Jo Malone's Blackberry and Bay. I'll end on a kind of subtle note. Um, here I have Kiali Citrus 08 which is kind of like a grapefruity scent at the end of the day for me. And then I have Estee Lauder's Tender Light, which is a scent that starts off kind of like a green tea on me and then turns into more of like a matcha tea. It's definitely one of the more subtle scents from their Small Wonders collection. And I'll link my review of that full collection below. It was really fun to review all of these scents. There's quite a range between them. But when you get these together, you can kind of guess what like a tea scent with citrus smells like, <laughs> obviously. Um, it's like a citrus tea, but it's really bright. It's slightly sweet. It's happy. It's uplifting. You get kind of the relaxing vibe from the tender light, but then uh, the brightness of like grapefruit from the citrus, which is a really overt citrus scent. Grapefruit is so distinct. So different from lemon, lime, so different and really delicious. So you get like a grapefruit and green tea scent. So I really love these together because on their own, they're just not enough for me. I don't really like citrus on its own. I don't really like tea on its own, but together they just vibe. It's just beautiful and they uplift each other and make each other a little more special.
So yeah, that is my review of the blends I've been experimenting with so far. Let me know what blends you've been doing, especially if you have any kind of more like commercially available scents you've been blending together. I love to know because I'll probably give them a try too. But yeah, I, I'm still starting off on my blending journey, still kind of figuring it out. But I found that if two scents really work for me, then blending them together usually works as well. That's, that's my feedback so far. So anyway, hope you had fun with this video. I've had a lot of fun preparing for this video. And I'm definitely going to keep doing this. So thanks so much for being here. Hope you have a very beautiful day.